right, so let's look at and see what I have here. Got a uh, basically a Honda OEM Honda uh, rack, chrome rack. Let's look at the instructions real fast. Actually, let's see what parts it comes with. So the rack, a couple of bolts, a sticker, a weight. I think it's a weight limit sticker, 6.6 .6 pounds, three kilograms. So I'm not gonna put that on. Um, so that's a very safe number right there. And let's look at the the, the instructions here. Uh, what they show here. Uh, so one part right here. So you, you take off the um, you take off the uh, the the nut. Then there's two washers before the shock. So you take so there's a large washer and a small washer. So you actually remove the small washer, leave the large washer there. So in place of the small washer is the rack, I believe. So let's look at uh, page two. Oh, actually, you know, no, I take that back. It's the rack goes on, then the large washer, then the nut. So if you if you notice, it's the rack goes on after the shock. So it's the shocks, the rack is like in this picture right here. You can see. The rack is actually between the, the nut and the shock. Okay. So what is that? Let's look at the bike. So obviously you gotta remove the seat. And the seat here, the bolts here are, um, you need to use the Allen key. And it comes with the Allen key, but you know, you don't wanna use that goofy Allen key. That I think is a six millimeter, but it's also a nut on the outside, which is a 12 millimeter right in there. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my uh, my uh, 12 millimeter. That's one side, and the other side. Once it's loose, spin it out. Obviously, I'm using a extension here. And there's your uh, there's your uh, bolt. So it's a it's a internal and external you know hex so the internal is six millimeters the external is 12 millimeters like so so there's no luck right on this thing <sighs> little paint I see a little paint here uh, so that's from you know when you tighten it down it's gonna, it's gonna obviously dig into the paint let's do the other side the okay, other side's loose kind of hard to get out because it's because it's tilted you know it's on, it's on the kickstand so it's tilted down I'll just leave it in there and I'll have to take it out afterwards. Uh, let's see what else I need to do. I think that's it, right? Yeah, actually, you know what? I need to slide it forward. Slide forward. And that bolt's in the way. Let me tilt the bike to the brakes, uh, to the, uh, brake side. Get that bolt out. Okay, the bolt's out. So there's the other bolt. Okay, now I need to... Push the seat forward a little bit. No, actually, excuse me, not forward, back. Push the seat back, then it comes off. So why is it pushing the seat back? Because the seat, look here, the seat has this, uh, oh, that's not it. Over here, so you see this little thing right here? <laughs> God dang it. So this, you see this little thing right here? It's a hook, right? See that, how's the hook? And that hooks onto this wire right here. So it hooks underneath. No, it hooks um it hooks like so and that's how it holds okay since see this empty space you know, this is where the abs unit would be if, if i you know if i had an abs bike but obviously this is not a not an abs this is a uh, non-abs so there's a big dead space here so you store stuff here you put like your tools whatever but that's what, what i'm probably gonna do i'm gonna put like my my little toolkit here you know my flat flat tire repair toolkit here and maybe even uh, fit in like a little Nalgene, not, not a Nalgene, I mean a, uh, a MSR uh, fuel bottle, you know, for, for a camping stove, MSR fuel bottle. I'm gonna see if, because I have one, I have a, I have the small one, the 11 ounce and the 30 ounce. Um, so I'm gonna see if it fits in here. Uh, at least the, see if the 30 ounce fits in here. I'm not sure if that one does or not. But, um, but yeah. Okay, so let me take the seat and put it somewhere where it doesn't get banged up. Let's put it up into this box. Let me grab my rack right here. That's the rack. Let me shut this camera down. Oh, it's difficult to do things with one hand.
Actually, I should loosen up the uh, loosen up the uh, the bolts here on the on the um, the uh, the bike on the shocks. So those ones are 14 millimeters. I got my 14, and this thing is torqued to. Uh, uh, the service manual says torque at uh, um, 21 foot pounds. So that's the torque setting. That's one side to the other side as well. So get that muffler side out. Get the uh, clutch side, clutch lever or shifter side, I should say. So that's the the acorn nut or the cap nut. There's the small washer, right? small washer, small washer, then large washer. So we're gonna put the you know we won't use the small washer because that that rack is gonna take the space of the small washer. So so we're gonna reuse the big one. Okay, that's off. The rack. So here's the rack. Uh, the rack has a. Um, set this a little further back here. The rack has a. Um, let's look at the rack. So the rack goes in like this, like so. So this is the top of the rack right here. Uh, this is where the it slides into where the, sh the shock mount is. So the rack has two uh, two spots right here. Basically, it has threads on them. Right, it has threads on them, and it's been welded. So basically, this is, these are the nuts. So the, the, those two bolts that they come with will sc we'll screw down into this. Uh, so again, uh, and it's and when when it mounts, when it mounts, it actually mounts. The rack actually mounts from from the bottom of the frame. So if you look at the what the light is. It actually mounts from the bottom of the frame, like so. Uh, oops, my wrench is right in the way. Get that wrench out of the way. Right, so it's like so, and it basically slides right in. So it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of pinching right here. It's pinching a little bit, so I have to kind of push it out a little bit. That's kind of, that's actually kind of typical, kind of normal. Uh, lots of times, uh, when when things are made, especially when it's welded, um, uh, it's you know, always a little bit of distortion and such. So I'm gonna pull, pull it out. Okay. So I'm pushing both sides in. Well, this is a very tight fit. I'm pushing both sides in. Uh, let's get that. Let's get those two nuts from the from the rack. Those two nuts uh, that the rack comes with. I don't think they mentioned anything about nut tightening. As far as I could tell, they don't even say. Uh, I'm looking at the manual right now, the instructions. They don't even say uh, a torque. Actually, you know, they do tell you the torque. The torque number is 20, 20 foot pounds. Yeah. So the torque number on here. So there's two bolts for the top of the. Two bolts for the top of the rack. For the top of the rack right here. This is 20 foot pounds and it doesn't even show you any um, any Loctite on here at all. So I'm not gonna use any Loctite. And it's just straight on there. There's no there's no washers or anything. Um, actually, you know what? I think you might have to reuse. Let's look at the manual again. It says, uh, it just says put the, uh, the the bolt right onto, you know, basically the bolt screws right down onto the frame. I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm, I think I might use that that smaller washer that we had underneath there. Um, the smaller washer that came off of here, underneath there. Just cause, cause when you torque this down, the, the, the bolt's gonna scratch the paint and I don't wanna scratch the paint. 
uh, let me see how much uh, space I have actually as far as um, as far as space to uh, to put this on um, let's see let's, let's see if I can figure this out so that was a uh, 12 millimeter so I'm just gonna screw it in without without the uh, washer I want to see how far it extends out and let's screw this one in with without the uh, without the uh, obviously this washer is kind of big for this bolt but you know maybe you can find a flatter flatter washer something that's you know more more slim I want to see how much thread overlap it has this is a little experiment if, it, if I have enough thread overlap or or how far the, the bolt sticks pass to the do the nut if, if it goes the full length then I will actually uh, use a washer or maybe get a thinner washer so this side is without the washer well, this, it looks like it's without the washer it's just enough yeah okay so I guess I'm not gonna use a washer then let's look at it I and mean, then obviously it's not torqued down but let's look at what it, that looks like up here so let's see if you guys can see that so it's right in Right in there, and it's just about kind of hard to see. It's almost flush. It's not. It's still a little bit recessed. And that's without the washer. So, uh, so with the washer, it's definitely going to be too too uh, too thick. So I'm not going to use the washer then. Okay. Well, you know, it's a uh, it was a try, right? You know, you always you should always try things out. Maybe if you, maybe if you use like a really thin washer, it'll probably still be okay because you know. You're not putting that much weight on this. If you're using the, if you're putting, you know, three kilograms of weight on this. You definitely could use the washer and it'll, it'll be fine. But you put a little bit more weight, uh, you might not want to, uh, just because, you know, the, the, you know, with the washer you have less thread, that's less thread interface. The less thread interface you have, the less strength you have. So you want it to be, you know, you want it to be as strong as possible. So more, uh, more thread interface. Yeah, so I think once I tighten it down, that nut will be actually flush, or the bolt will actually be flush on the bottom. There won't be any uh, space to get out. So I'm good here. I'm just gonna tighten this down. Actually, there's a torque spec, right? Uh, Twenty. I think they said twenty. Uh, that seemed kind of high to me for that thread size, you know, because that this thread size here is smaller than the bolt thread size over there. So twenty might seem kind of high. Double check. And then the service manual. The, the, the manual tells you this bolt here should be 21 foot pounds. So 20 is close enough to 21. Um, let's see. So torque torque spec is the eight millimeter flange bolt. So that's the um, yeah. So it says eight millimeter flange bolt. That's what this is. This is eight millimeters flange bolt. And that's only bolt that's there, that's only one that, that has the flange on it, right? Uh, otherwise, this, these right here are nuts. So yeah, so I just set it to 20. 20 pounds, or, or basically it's 27 newton meters. I could just set it to newton meters. Newton meters, 27, oh wait. Oops, 27 newton meters. So I'm pretty much there already. Let's go back to foot pounds. So foot pounds is 19.9. Um, it's basically 20. Okay, got my torque wrench on. It's 10. Oh, that's really tight. That's fast. That's it's really fast. Oh, you know what? It didn't reach. It didn't reach 27. It's 27 newton meters. I'm looking at. Okay, that's tight. Okay, that's tight. So that's 27 newton meters. And the bolt here is 21, so 21 inch foot pounds. So let me go to uh, 
21. Hopefully you change the, the nut size in there. Bigger nut size using the big big washer, not the small washer. So again the this the instructions for you to uh to put the rack on first, then put the big washer, oops, then put the big washer on, then the uh, small washer. Let's see if the big washer clears. Doesn't seem like it clears. Oh, I don't like that. Doesn't seem like it clears. Yeah, it doesn't really clear. It's not sitting completely flat unless I push this rack out a little bit. So, uh, I might use the small washer instead. Um, yeah, it doesn't really clear. Let's look at this real fast. Uh, close up so you guys can see what I'm, I'm looking at um, so if, it's, if you see that how it how it goes against here you see that uh, the washer doesn't really sit flat right where, where this rack flares out see there's a little air gap right there so if I tighten this down the washer will actually bend in that spot see that right there uh, so I know the, the smaller washer will clear that no problem, unless I loosen up the rack and, and kind of push the rack backwards a little bit to give me more clearance. But I think the rack is, for the most part, it doesn't really move anymore. Uh, you know what? I'll just leave it like this and and uh, I just do it, just do it, tighten it down anyways. I'm I'm okay with uh, bending the washer slightly. That's no big deal. It's no big deal for me. No one's gonna notice. Only person that's gonna know is me, and well, I guess all you folks too watching the video. Uh, let's see what's, what next. My uh, where is my socket? I heard it drop a minute ago. Uh, that was a small little socket that dropped. Okay, here it is. 14 millimeters. Thing back on 21 foot pounds. There we go, 21 foot pounds. Yeah, it's not bad. One, I'm gonna do the bottom two just because when I did these shocks originally I didn't know what the torque spec was, I didn't have the service manual. So check the bottom as well. Okay, so everything's good. Everything's on. Um push this bench back a bench to hold up my camera so there's that again there's a lot of space in here so I'm gonna get my Nalgene or excuse me my MSR bottle and stick it in here and see what what, uh, what works there's my seat that seat here so putting on the seat let me show you Okay, to hook, hook that part in here, and also be mindful of uh, the two the two metal spots right here uh, hitting the frame. You know, you scratch up your frame or even your gas tank. So be mindful of that. This in, slide forward a little bit. Oops. I almost slipped there and almost hit my freaking. Gas tank. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think it's in there. Okay. Let me put this in. Okay. It's in. It's in there. And I screw it down afterwards. Just let me show you. See how it looks. Um. So there you go. That looks a lot better than. Uh, that looks way better than, than without the rack. 
and without the rack it just doesn't didn't look right it's, you know something was missing you know uh, so with the rack it looks cooler and plus also you know the, the North American North American uh, tail light it says black plastic so so it looks kind of goofy too I have I'm, I'm I have on order the uh, the Japanese one you know the European one same thing uh, the round the round and it's chrome also the turn signals are a little bit smaller and it's, and it's a white or well, clear the lens is clear but the, the, the bulb itself is, is amber so that's what it looks like looking good got my Olin's rear shock on there got my Olin's uh, fork internals in there with the Olin sticker you see uh, so yeah so everything's good I just need to bolt it down but that's it for the video thanks for watching